We are, well, here's the funnel I set up over the weekend in Portland with John. Got a little mixed panel funnel going, so who viewed the page, who viewed our sign-up page. This is for Transistor, right? Uh, trial started, show created, and then trial ended. Trial ended means they actually signed up, and so we just put this in place. This is like yesterday, <laughs> I think, so so far it looks like we've got 16 trials, and we're going to see how many of those convert. Should be... Should be good. Um, but this is what we're installing today is Scott Robin has a kind of lightweight CMS called Vapid. And I've previously done a, an install where I had, um, where I tried to install Statomic. And uh, I thought that'd be fun right now, too. How come you guys can't see me? Where's my camera? Camera, 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 right here. There we go. Hey, everybody. Um, so let's, um, yeah, let's let's get the show on the road. Now I've I've already done this. I've already installed it. Um, so I'm just going to create a new project. So let's go here, and we're going to clear this up. Clear. Um, I'm almost wondering, let's call this uh, Vapid Start. Oh, wait, we need, no, first we need to create a new project. So Vapid New, and um, we'll call it, this is going to be the marketing site, so call it Trans Mark, just so I can kind of remember. Oh, site created. Wow, that's pretty quick. So now we can just go vapid start. Oh, got to be able to type though. Vapid start trans mark. Let's see what happens here. Is that running? I can't tell. Let's take a look. Not running yet. What's going on? How come it didn't work? There we go. Just took a little while. Let's refresh this. Bang, we've got a new site going. Now, I will say, I just tried installing, um, what's everyone installing now? Gatsby? Golly, that was like a dependency hell. Uh, I could not get it working. So far, Vapid, you're getting some good marks for making it possible for an idiot like me to quickly get going. That was uh, like, look at look at the command line here. Basically, uh, I guess you guys got to see the desktop again. Um, this is super easy just vapid new site name and then start the server we're running uh, let's see what this looks like in code oh is my audio and video out of sync uh, let's see let me close some more stuff maybe that'll help mm -mm. quit dropbox uh, yeah, sometimes it just takes a little while. Folks on Twitter and YouTube, let me know if your the audio is out of sync for you. Uh, let's close a bunch of this stuff. Um, let's close this too. All right, so let's open up the site. We just... Looks good on YouTube, so Simon, maybe go check it out there. So here's kind of what we have, right? We've got an index file, and let's see what this. Let's see what's going on here. Um, maybe, and actually, I'll remove that overlay so 
I don't ha I'm not always fighting with it. Let's, let's close that one off. There we go. All right. Audio is in sync on Twitter too. So yeah, so this is um, what it looks like, right? Here's the template. And uh, I can see a little bit of logic here. We'll see if I can figure that out in a second. A uh, little bit of kind of looks like mustache or liquid type, uh, you know, syntax here. But, um, oh, wait, this is the wrong one. I opened the wrong one. Hold on. How did I get the wrong one open? I made another one. I called this one Transmark. Where is that? Where is it? Did I put this in the wrong directory? Where am I? Uh, oh, I oh I put this in the wrong place. Put this down here, didn't I? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Let's open this up. Oh, I can just start it by typing in code. That is... That is a good trick. All right, here we go. So, yeah, here's the index. Uh, hide sidebar. And let's wrap this up. Perfect. Just gonna put it over here. All right. So, yeah, let's start by editing it. Um, transistor. And we'll call it... Oh, actually, this is H2. So let's just, let's move things around and see how they look, right? Go to transistor. And then down here, let's call it podcast hosting and analytics. Let's see what happens when we load that up. There it is. And yeah, let's see what we go now. So. Uh, this is instructions for deploying, but basically I want to figure out how to make a blog. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, so I believe I can log in. Let's see what happens when I do that. Before we get started, we need to create a thing. Okay, so let's call this FM. Let's uh, create a login. Right, uh, yeah, sure, let's update that. Um, yeah, Vapid is a, I don't know where it falls on the, on the static to CMS spectrum. But can't Gats, does Gatsby have no interface at all? I think the idea with Vapid is that you create the dashboard as you code. So, uh, like right now, look, this background image tag is in here. So I think that mean that allows me to then select an image. Let's see, do I have any um, anything I can use here? Let's try this. Save and if I go back here. What happens? Is there a, is that, oh yeah, it looks like that image is somewhere back there. <laughs> All right, so, and then, oh, see, that contact form is down here, right? So, let's see what happens when I type in here. Justin, and then we'll put demo at megamaker.co. Howdy. Submit. I'm not a robot. Why does it go through form spree? Oh, I see. It probably doesn't do that on this on the back end. Hey, what's up, Mike Walker? Good to see you. All right, I want to make a blog. So let's see how I do that. Content types. Where? Got placeholders, organizing content into sections. Okay. 
Section tags. No, we don't want that. We want some sort of... Um, how, where's the partials? How do I make a blog? How do I make a blog? Is there a way to search these docs? Mm, organizing content in sections, hosting your website. If, unless, image resizing, partials, reorder. No, I don't want any of that. Hmm, text, image link. All right, I'm going to go to the Vapid. Uh, how do I make a blog with Vapid CMS? Hmm, there's one. Um, how do we do it? How do we do it? I'm sort of seeing as a hosting platform. You can create a custom dashboard. All right, let's see what this says. Uh, is su Vapid suitable for a blog system? Yes, take a look at the link to repeating content section. All right, that's what we want. It was in the doc, I just didn't see it. Oh, here we go. Where, what, where is this? Where am I in the navigation? I can't even tell. Okay, link to repeating content. We've got... Um, Vapid, so they're using this idea of multiple offices, which in some ways is a weird example because um, you'd assume most people, what they would want to do first is create a blog. So this whole example is already uh, going to be confusing for me. Learn more section, do you think I'm in? Oh, right here? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, so... By default, Vapid places fields. After a while, though, this can be unwieldy. Sections are organized unit of Vapid. Okay, so let's create a section called About Me. But where do I put this? Do I put it in a brand new file? Uh, I'm just going to copy this and um, yeah, make a new make a new section, I guess. Hmm. Let's create a new file and see what happens. Blog.html. Okay. Now, what, what actually needs to be in that file? Let's just do this and see what happens. Let's go back here. Site has changed. Okay. So now we got this thing called offices. Interesting. Yeah, the admin section did detect it. So let's try to modify this and call it blog. And we'll call this post name. And we'll call, let me go back here actually, what did this say? State, city, name. How do you create a, let's go back here again. Content, da, 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 da. message long true. Okay, so let's try this. This might be a way to create a, call this post content. Let's see what happens here. Post content, post name. Okay. It's weird how that's ordered. Uh, 
Can I order it a different way? Yeah, that, that part is cool, how you can just add stuff in here and it just works. I'm still a little bit confused as to how, like, how does this even work? Like, okay, let's call this post one. Paste in some content. What happens here? Okay. Blog. Post one. Interesting. How does, how are these visualized? Like if I go view and I go blog, what happens? Oh. Interesting. Okay. So this blog page is what I created here. And man, this is confusing. Um, but it is kind of cool. You're right. So, okay, let's, I'm assuming then I've got to re, I'm going to need all this. I'm going to need all this stuff, right? Let's just copy this. A little copy pasta. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we bring that in. And... Um, let's bring this in too. Create a directory called blogs. You can create partials like the headers. Okay, I'm going to read this. By the way, how's it going, Nate? Pitching Nate? It's been a while, hasn't it? Part of the thing that's throwing me off here is partials, partial templates. What the hell is that? I know you folks get that right away, but... As a programming idiot, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> the, the way this is kind of organized is weird to me. I wish there was a blog tutorial because I can understand blog. Their example of like multiple offices just doesn't resonate with me. I think everybody knows what a blog is. I think a lot of people want to build blogs. It just kind of makes sense, right? Um, okay, did I copy all this? Now I can't remember where I'm at. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta copy this. I'm gonna copy all this, all this crazy s stuff. Do I have to do that every time? Oh, reusable code. Oh, I see. You can create partials for the headers. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay, so instead of copying and pasting this every time, I got it, I got it. Um, okay, but let me just, I'm just going to do it anyway, paste this in here anyway, and then, um, what did I, what did I fuck up here? And I'll put this part in here. Okay, let's just see what this looks like. Um, bang. Translate page. All right. So then, oh, see, we got a little, uh, we got a little thing going on here. I could call this page blog, right? Blog, and then we'll say articles and how to guides and let's let's delete this I think all right all right there we go so we got a blog but I still don't know how this <laughs> this part works this is like blog slash two
Okay. The one part I'm confused about now, Mike Walker pitching Nate, whoever else is here, is where is this linking to? Like, what is what is this? Because do I need to create a new template? Blog, multiple, true. And then you have this, and then permalink. I got to read. Where is the docs again? The permalink tag tells Vapid to create a link for the individual office. It will look something like da, 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 where one is the record ID. To render the individual detail, detail page, just place uh, underscored file in the www with the same name as the section. All right, so like, but it needs to be the same name as the section, which is blog. Okay, let's create a new file then, right? Um, so blog HTML, right? Let's see what happens here. Um, so that has changed. Reload. Update. Let's view this. Let's go to blog. All right. Let's click on post one. Hmm. How come that didn't work? How come it didn't work? Blog two. Why would it have to be blogs.html? It's right here. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, because of the. Oh, I see. Because of the. Of course. The co Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I gotta rec I gotta copy this part. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. I got it, I got it. Um, so what do I got? I got post name and post content, right? So we'll go. Uh, let's delete all this. Let's delete all this bullshit. Post name, and then down here, post content, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see if this worked. Dang! Look at that. Created a blog post. All right. Yeah, but J Jonathan Bennett, we're getting here. We're getting somewhere. Look at this. Now, quick question. While I take a drink, should I? create a partial for all of that header footer stuff. Then you could put the header partial on that page. Is that already created? Pitch and Nate? Let's take a look here. Let's go back to that index. Like have they defined a partial here somewhere? Class header. I could create one. All right. So Nate and Mike Walker have had enough of me copying and pasting these big chunks of <laughs> these big chunks of uh, what changed, by the way. Why did it just say I changed shit? Um. Okay, let's learn about partials. Partial templates are part of our way to share a piece of code between templates. Partial use the following syntax. In this case, partial name corresponds to in your www, so we want a header. Right? All right, so let's do that. Let's grab um, let's see how much of this we can
Maybe I'll just call it like head. I'm trying to figure out where, because this here, although I could, there's probably a way of grabbing the page name, right? Do they do that somewhere? Although I'm always going to want a description. <laughs> Kermit drinking tea. All right, let's create one called site header. So everything above body. Let's grab this. Uh, let's cut it. Let's create a new file. One thing that is kind of fun about this is um, the fact that it it's really fast, right? Like everything's really fast. Hey, don't do that. How do I save this without it doing that? Replace. Don't quit. How come... How do I, how come it's auto, auto saving that stuff? How do I, how do I do this? Uh, I don't want it to, is it a prettier? No. I can't figure out how to stop it from adding Save, but it added a this. Uh, open with. Should we just open it with good old fashioned text editor for now? Yeah, the Visual Studio Code, which is normally great, thinks it's smarter than me. What's going on here? How come I can't even open this? Site header. Why is it opening it? Uh, open with, let's open it with Adam and see what happens. Code preferences, settings. <laughs> that works too, though, hey? <laughs> uh, okay, let's actually do this now. So preferences, settings. Settings. And then... Text editor, where is it? Workspace settings. Files, autosave. Controls autosave of dirty files. How do... Go to the file program, search for HTML closing and set it to false. There. Okay, that's done. Beauty. Uh, all right, so we just created a site header. Now, how do I add that header? Let's go back here, close that. Um, so if I just go site header, will this work? Uh, where's my... Nice. That worked, right? I think it worked. So I can add this to blog. And 
Yeah. What's up, Selrond? Thank the code gods for Stack Overflow. True. And actually, we should add this. Let's add this header here, but we're going to have to add some other stuff, right? Um, but what else do I want in here? I'm kind of feeling like... What is this header doing here? What is this? Let's see what this is first. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's just another header. What's up, Jason? Um, it's pretty magical stuff so far, man. You've missed some good stuff. Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna just delete this for a sec. And uh, do you think I should make this into a partial? It, it's just there's some stuff like these titles I want to keep some control over. I think footer I could definitely make into a partial. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make this into a new file called footer.html. Paste this in. Save. Nice. Okay. And let's go back to here. This is the thing. We're going to delete this whole footer piece. Um, no, no, how come it still thinks it's smarter than me? For God's sakes, that's going to be really annoying. Uh, maybe I'll just take these out just so I don't have to fight that the whole time. Okay, so save that. Um, save this. And I gotta do it over here too, right? Oh, I only disabled HTML? Oh my god, it's too much. Yeah, I guess I could do that, couldn't I? All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, start body there. Oh, fuck, but then I'm gonna have to deal with this. No, 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 I'm not doing it. It's, it's, oh no, <laughs> not back in here. Uh, I thought I disabled HTML. This is I thought I turned this whole thing off. HTML closing tags. Of HTML tags. It should be everything. This is really frustrating. I have to just open this whole project in Atom. Try saving with Command K S. Command K S. Mm. That does not work. Save. Uh, 
Pair with save. Compa Command KS. How come that doesn't work? Nope, that doesn't work. Check extension CS fixer. Where's my extensions? Is that here? Maybe it's this beautifier, IntelliSense, autocomplete. Command shift P. Oh, that's my color picker. <laughs> All right. Search for save. Save without formatting. Okay, that works. But how come? Yeah. All right, so what do I got here? I just want to get back to making stuff. Site header. Let's actually move this to transistor. And then... <laughs> oh, what did we do? Save without formatting. How come I can't... Command... This works when I do it there, but not when I site header. Oh, I was going to put body in here. Let's see if this works. Okay. So now I've got body there. And then in footer, I'm going to put these. And then just doing this manually. Um, okay, let's load all this and see if it still works. So quit, uh, quit, quit, quit. All right, so refresh. I've got that there. Does index still work? Okay. Now, where else do I need to add that footer and header? Um, I've got index. I think I gotta add this in blog, right? There we go. Okay, now it's working. Now it's working. All right. So uh, let's go back to blog. I don't know why it keeps asking to translate this page. Never translate this site. And then, okay, there we go. How come blog description's not working? Um, Vapid crossed my radar because John Buddha knows Scott, the guy that created it. So, okay, so now I've got site header, site footer, and we also need some of this other fancy stuff, right? Like some of this stuff here. So this is all header. Uh, because I got lorem ipsum. You folks have run into that before, haven't you? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, I'm going to move this to... Uh, read blog. Does this? And I'm going to delete this. Going to delete. I think I'm going to delete this part here. 
Actually, I'm going to keep it just so I can remember what, what the heck is here, but... Might want to copy that later. Okay, so let's go back here. Transistor. Read blog. Blog's right here. Post one. There we go. Okay. So now we got to figure out if... Like, what happened if I just... For this section blog... So this opens it up. I want this in the header, right? And then I want, what do I want it to look like? So, I want this to be outside of that. I want this to be outside of that. Right? I think this is what we do. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, let's refresh this. Does that work? Save changes. Is that what I wanted to do? Blog. Oh yeah, I must be doing that now. All right, and yeah, what is this? Yeah, we don't need this, you're right. You're what, you're right, Kawar. I didn't notice that. So if I refresh now, just has my content. Do they have a, um, do they have content types? You got text. Is there some sort of editor text area through WYSIWYG editor? So how do I do this? Parameter name editor. This is why it would be helpful to have an example from the act for like a, a blog example. Content type HTML. But let's go back here. Blog. Post content long true. So if I just switch this to type HTML. I'll get what I want. Let's see. Let's go back here. Change block. Edit. Whoa, there we go. Okay, now I need to get that. You were telling me about order somewhere. Where is that? Where is that? I think Mike found that for me. Should have paid attention when you found it for me. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Partials, blog, priority one in the field definition. Okay, let's go back here. Um, nope, I want this, priority one. Is that how it works? Size so change. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. We are cooking. Okay. So let's try. Um, let's try a transistor blog post in here. Oh, I'm going to need a publish date. How am I going to do that? Okay. So, how to start a podcast. 
let's just grab a bunch of this to start. Let's see how far we get. Update. Let's go here. Okay, so now I gotta update this too, right? Blog, post content. What did we say? Um, type HTML. Oh, wow, that loads up fast, doesn't it? This is really fast. Um, so we got that going. Now, how do they say we do images? Allow the user to embed images. This only works with the... So if I go images true, that will work, right? So type, and then we go images true. But I need to also copy that over here. And let's go back here. Let's go back to blog. Set has changed. Edit. Now we got images. All right, let's see how these look. So we're going to save image. And we're going to add this one in. Yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it, Mike? Kudos to Scott. Again, let's see if we can find Scott here again. Scott, is this him? Nope, that's Scott Matheson. Where's, where's the Scott I was, I was, uh, let's go to my email, there we go, Scott Robin. There we go, Scott Robin. This is the fellow behind Vapid. Um, okay, let's see if we can add that image. So, bam, desktop, when did I? This is the one I did, all right. Okay, update. This one updates automatically. Ooh, I'm gonna need to, how am I gonna format these? It's gotta be a way of width. How do we make these? I wonder if he has an image class already. How do I add the class? Because there's a parameter name, but how do I add the parameters? Confused. Do I just add it? Oh, here we go. Type HTML, editor markdown, required false. Um, the ability to upload images. I need, I need a class here. Let's see if he's got any tag false, required false type image. Oh, he's naming it here. But can I just keep adding, like can I add class here? Equals, yeah, not a part of the editor. I probably just need, um, let's go back to the files. Where's so images, style sheets. There's no image. Is there an image? Max width. Ten REMs. Oh, maybe because maybe I didn't. There's no. Um, maybe there's no width on this. Header. Oh, I don't have a section with width. Is that maybe it? Here's the container. How 
I'm gonna start picking up. Oh, this is just in the footer. Okay. <laughs> oh, pitching Nate. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? So if I just give this 100%, will that fix it temporarily? Do I have to like reload this because it's SCSS? I don't know how that works. But we are making, this is, this is looking good though. I, I like, it feels like we're making some good progress here. Um, I might even add this to, where's my section blog. I think I might add this piece here. Let's prettify this. And I think I'm going to put this post name right here. Delete this. Delete this. Save it. How to start a podcast. Starting to look pretty good, I think. Pretty, not bad at all. Um, uh, let's just see if there's anything. I keep getting these buzzes in my pocket. I want to make sure I'm not missing something I should be. Uh, -na -na. Um, um. All right, so try putting something like max with 100%. All right, let's try that. Uh, right here, right? Doesn't seem to be loading my. I don't think it would matter though. I could try going like, is there a par paragraph? I could also go uh, P image. I could try it in here too. Yeah, where is this? Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be compiling, does it? Oh, whoa. I'm gonna have to figure out how to just have a summary here, hey? Yeah, it's not compiling for some reason. Maybe I have to restart everything. How do I... How do I get... Do you think it's the... I don't think it's the uh, semicolon. I mean, you're right, but just doesn't seem like that CSS is updating. Hmm. Maybe I have to update it here. So I just changed it. Maybe I have to rebuild it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Learn more. Acids. Image resizing. Oh. Yeah, but that's only if I don't have it in the the editor. I could just try saving this as style.css oh wow yep yes <laughs> Sid you're right there is there's some shit going on in here okay I I don't I would rather go just with regular style anyway no I don't want SCSS no, 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 no. How come? I just want CSS. There we go. Okay. I'm going to delete this. And now if I go to my header, I can just link to... style.css, right? Let's see if that works. Where's my thing? Oh, no, broke it. How come, what did I do? Is it not loading? Oh, I've got some stuff that's nested in that style sheet. Is that like all this stuff? Where is it nested? Oh, like this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> is there like a, <laughs> is there an SCSS to CSS converter? Uh, nope, that's not. SCSS to CSS compiler. Compile. No, I just want a converter. Oh, there's an error? That error that I'm seeing is the problem? Line 191. Oh. That's why. Okay. So let's, um, oh, I, but that's just in style. Hold on. Hold on. Look at all this shit. Just. <laughs> uh, isn't this stuff fun? Just breaking stuff on the internet. So what did I have now? I can't remember now. I just changed this to SCSS and it works. Let's try. Nope. Now I really fucked things up. 
site. Oh, we just called it, oh, just site.css? That's what it compiles to? How do you guys know this stuff? There we go. All right, let's see. Read the blog. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. That, that is just super nice. Uh, if the stream is blurry, it's probably Periscope. Periscope really sucks for um, encoding. Let's see here. Streaming monitor. See, I've got a really high bit rate here, but I think Periscope it only allows me to stream. What happens when I do this? Is it blurry? Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Um, all right, so this is fun. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's how it. That's how it moves down. So now I got to figure out how could we? We need a summary field, right? Um, how do I add a summary field? Content type, just a text area long, let's call it. Okay, let's go back here. Block, post content, um, What's this again? I just want post summary. Uh, do I just go text long? Is that what I did before? Let's see here. Size changed. Just need avatars in that comment pop up. Okay, edit. Post summary. So let's call this. Let's update that. And Oh, you set long to true. And then over here, I want I want to hide. How do I hide content? Hide or visible. How do I make something not visible in the loop? Form sections, partials. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, how do I make it not visible? So let's just go back here. Site has changed. View. Read the blog. How do I not get it to show the whole post, though? I want it to show the whole post here, but not here. Conditionals. Let's look at this. Oh, hey, Scott. Nice to see you here. Scott Robin, everybody. This is probably the most painful experience of his life. <laughs> uh, Scott, if you're able to watch this, then you, I, you can get through anything. Um, Vapid's templating system supports conditional... Da -da -da -da. 
very good question. And for example, you want to create a weather alert, but you only want to show it if there was something interesting to say about the weather. So in blog.html, I only have post summary, not post content. That will work? I don't know. Scott is saying, Scott is saying I should have the, the whole thing. But let's try this first, just for fun. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, nice, nice. We're getting there. All right. How do I change the URL slug? Right now it's just creating a two, but I want, you know, for SEO, I want to be able to have the full slug. How do you think I do that? What happens when I type slug? Ta the permalink tag tells Vapid to create a link for the eye. It would look something like da 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 da. Beauty. Um, yeah, slugs. How, if you have a field called title or name, it'll auto slug for you. Oh, but I called mine, what did I call it? I called it post name. So if I change it to title, So I should just rename this to title, maybe? Let's try that. Title, and then I gotta probably change it over here too, right? Title. This is probably gonna break everything now. It's all gonna break. I'm gonna break it all. It's all gonna go downhill. We got blog. Oh, what did I fuck up? I fucked something up because probably because we saved something, hey? I wrecked it. I should have done it from that way from the beginning. You have to re-enter the title data. Um, how do I do that? Oh, I just need to redo it again? Well, that's nice. Let's edit it again. Uh, we're going to call this how to start a podcast. We're going to go down here. We're going to update it. And automatically reloads how to start a podcast. There it is. Uh, oh, there it is. How to start a podcast. Two. Nice. Is there a way? Do I have to have this dash two? Is that because there's a few of them? Here, let's try a new one. Uh, let's pick an actual blog post that I just did. Let's see here. Transistor versus Podbean. So, transistor versus Podbean. What's the summary? Uh, let's actually edit this up here. Let's go down here. I'm gonna copy this. And. View this again. Let's just paste some stuff in. See how it looks. There we go. All right, Scott, I'll take a look at that medium thing in a second. 
gonna save this test and no, then actually I want to save it as the actual I'll keep it that let's use this image uploader let's actually do the full post or at least more of it just want to see what it looks like with multiple images in there Somebody's got to build a. Somebody needs to build a. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, it's got that. They're appending those unique tags at the end. All right. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, somebody needs to build a WordPress importer <laughs> uh, for Vapid. All right. Save this. Automatically reloads it all. Let's go back to blog. Here we go. I got to clean this up. How to start a podcast. Oh, no, not that one. Transistor versus Podbean. Nice. Obviously got to clean this up too. It's centering everything right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think... I think I've I think I've I'm starting to figure that out. Yeah, the ID part is kind of weird, I have to say. It probably doesn't Well, you know the only thing that it'll matter for is if I really want there to be a like on justinjackson.ca I'll often write pieces like this, right? That are just justinjackson.ca/wait it's a shame to have to uh, have an ID, wait and see. It would actually be nice to be able to, to define the, the slug. Um, because, yeah, folks get... It's just nice. Just nice to be able to have it the, the slug look the way you want it to. And... In this case, uh, I can't even have a short slug like slash weight. That would be that would be nice because sometimes when you're podcasting, you might say, "Hey, go to justinjackson.ca slash weight." But no, this is rad. This is uh, I was able to get this going a lot faster than I thought I would be able to. Um, Got hung up on a few things. I would love to see more documentation on this, like actually building a blog. Um, and I, I can also see some other <laughs> challenges, which is like in WordPress, you can have a, a, the, a page called blog, but you can have all your posts show up just in root, right? So it'd be like, Local 3000, wait and see here instead of uh, underneath blog for whatever reason. Search engine optimization folks say that's better. Uh, and it's also, again, cleaner when you can just go justinjackson.ca slash wait. But I do like how fast it is. Um, that part is cool. And I'm assuming this this loads really fast too. You could do that with you could do some of that with stuff with HT access. Okay, might have to look into that. Which is again, um, oh the WordPress rewrite magic is crazy. Interesting. Okay, well I'll look into that. We should should we try to deploy this for fun? Vapid deploy my site. If I'm in the directory, can I just deploy it? Let's see here. Um, so where am I? Transmark. Can I just go Vapid deploy here? Deploy. 
Please enter your credentials. Okay. Input is hidden. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go look it up. Hold on. <laughs> uh, what is it? I think it's this. Okay, and I'm just gonna go back here. Is this a new website? Uh, yes. Would you like to deploy the existing content to? Sure. Deploying your website. Upload. Oh, I need to delete that other <laughs> CSS file. All right. Oh, view your website on the on the internet webs. By the way, Scott, you do have the cleanest like um, command line. What do we call that? Interface. It's really nice and succinct and clean. I like it a lot. No way. Check this out, folks. You folks can visit this nationwide. Can I paste this in? There we go. Yellow dash shadow dash zero four 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 dot vapid dot site. That's pretty cool. And I'm guessing somewhere in here I can manage this somehow. So this is like my subdomain, but I could add a real domain here. That is pretty cool. Oh, and I can add collaborators too. Nice. But it's all right here. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could customize slugs somehow. That's That feels like actually that one of the only thing that's missing. Um, and I mean, there's there's a bunch of factors at play here. I'm gonna close off with this. I, I, I'm gonna I gotta go eat some lunch here, but I just wanna kind of give it give a few kind of parting thoughts. The job that I want to do has it is partly we have this. This is this is the this is the rabbit hole that John Buddha and I went down. We've got this transistor site on WordPress, right? And it's built with this Beaver Builder that allows me to edit all this stuff, uh, you know, in place. I can get edit all this. I hate this. This site loads so fast. If you go Page Speed Insights. Uh, so if we go transistor, this site loads so freaking slow. It's gonna give us a. Actually, let's use the the let's use the this one here. See how fast this is. I mean, there's nothing on that page, but uh, so the old transistor site has a. Uh, has a score of 27 on mobile, 79 on desktop, and uh, <laughs> this new site I just deployed on Vapid has 100. Now, of course, there's nothing there, but the problem with WordPress is it's adding so much other junk, like all these, all of these um, plugins add all of this additional weight to the page. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. For God's sakes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, all I did was I showed. Here's the. Here is the uh, score. Mobile score for transistor. Mobile score for desktop score for transistor. Here it is for uh, that Vapid site. And Mike Walker just gave us this one too. Let's see what this one does. I mean, again, there's nothing on that page, but. There's so much extra craft with WordPress. And I had such a good experience with Statomic uh, in terms of it being fast and just easy, developer-friendly. And um, 
So that's the rabbit hole that we went down, right? We were like, how can we make the site faster? And everyone's going using Gatsby now. And I tried, um, I tried installing this and getting it to work, and I could not, like all the JavaScript dependencies for this, I could not get it to work. But Gatsby might, I mean, uh, sorry, Vapid might work for us. We just want something simple that, um, allows John to tweak it as, you know, as the developer, but me to easily add content. And it's kind of got a lot of the pieces that we want. So I, I think the hard thing is that there's always going to be things you miss from WordPress. Like one thing that I know I'm going to miss is this whole SEO uh, the Yoast plugin down here. Uh, the ability to, like, it automatically gives me a score. See, if I keep typing here, it'll eventually give me red, like, oh, it's too long. Uh, you know, if I keep typing here, it'll say it's too long. It gives me, you know, a score w uh, on my focus keyword and gives me advice. I, I mean, I don't have that in Statomic either. In Statomic, I've got, um, I can show you what I got here. It's pretty, it's basic. It's not, it's definitely not as good, but it is, it's at least there, this SEO tab where I can have my meta title, meta description, social sharing image, and I know I can build all that. It look, I could definitely build all this stuff in Vapid, but it'd be cool if there's like some sort of like pre-done snippets that allow you to, you know, do some of this without having to build it all yourself. But overall, Scott, I am impressed. I'm sure there's lots more that I don't even know about. Improve this software, using this software. Yeah, it was. it's almost like if you could have a partials marketplace or something, that would be really cool. Cool. Anything else we should talk about? Everyone just kind of went quiet. We done? Should we do more of these? Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you liked it, uh, one thing you can do that really helps is uh, give this old video a thumbs up in YouTube, uh, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. I'm the letter M, the letter I, Justin. And um, yeah, hopefully stuff like this is, is fun, watching a complete idiot <laughs> stumble through all this stuff. And I'll see you next time I do a live stream.